watching uh, one of the Chris Rock writers, joke writers, and it was awesome because he said something that made me think of health and fitness. He said he writes wrote jokes for Chris Rock, who's obviously a legend. Um, and then by Monday, he's back at the comedy club trying to get on open mic. So even though he's so freaking successful in the business of writing jokes and working with the top of the notch, he still goes back to the basic stuff. And so today's workout is, again, it's just basic. You really can't in health and fitness, as much as people try to say, we're all gonna squat. We're all gonna probably do some kind of deadlift. We're all gonna do hyper extensions. And it's never really getting away from that, which I kind of like because it keeps you humble that you never get a get, I'm just so good, I don't have to bench and squat anymore. Cool, man, congrats. I don't know that guy, but if you're that guy, congratulations. I'm, I'm doing hypers. I'm gonna try something, because you got a freaky great body. Will you jump in real quick? I'm gonna make a slight change and see how he likes it. So, great hyper extension right there. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. Nothing. Now the change is gonna be this. So over my hand as much as you possibly can, aren't you? Relax, rotate over, rotate over, rotate over. Now extend back up from here. And extend, pull the arms out, squeeze the whole body, go back over my hand. Back up and over. Go again, over, over, over. Yep, back up again. One more time, over as much as you can. Back up from there. Last one, get it, get it, get it, get it. Squeeze it. He's like freaking marble right there. It's like solid. That's awesome. Slight change, slight change. <laughs> well, that's also something, your um, variation on flies, on dumbbell flies, where like you open up like this, is something I've been using a lot, and it's it's almost imperceptible, because I'll try to teach it to other people, and I'm like, I know it doesn't look like I'm doing much, but finding the stretch position as you open up this way, rather than sinking just down here, alleviates stress on the shoulder capsule, right? And you're like, ooh, I feel that just in my pet now. So, see, rotate. So it's cool working with these guys. Well, uh, <laughs> <but> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mike, you can see his hips don't even move. Yeah. There's there's zero hinge there. It's all just that rotate. It's like each vertebrae rotating over, and then. Aligning itself again. It's a vertebrae. Again, both are right, just slightly different. Takes us right back to the beginning. Come on, kid. What do you notice? Um, I think he should be stopping right around there and let the Upper spine, do the bending. There we go. And come back up. Maybe contract the upper back a little more at the top. There it is. You can see it's it's almost like Mike's lower back. It's not like it. Mike's lower back is holding his entire upper extremity. Just yeah. Not it reminds me of acting exercises where you you know do like vertebra by vertebra. Right. To warm up your you know, your voice, you know. Not saying it's easy. Did you figure these ones out? No, this is a combination. Again, like oh, yeah? everything, it's it's being around legends and being here since the 80s. So it's just watching other guys do it. And then for me, I want to take the hip out of it because your hip is, mostly if you're an athlete, it's just beyond strong. Uh -huh. So there's no point in it. So I just want that rotation in the back and that squeeze. So just time, time, time. One more set. Look at the lower back development. Yeah. It shows you doing what he did before works just fine. This is just slightly different. But you can see how muscular, again, 
t-shirt, sweatshirt, and you still see that lower back. Ah, like a young Franco Colombo <laughs> with better hair. I got you. Yeah. I've been told not to do everything, you know? Yeah. Like anything you can do in the gym, somebody, no, nah, you're not, you're doing it wrong. I'm, I'm five, you know, 10, 120 pounds, but you, you don't know how to deadlift, so let's fix that, first of all. <laughs> At this stage that you're starting out, you go. Stay here, stay here, stay here. I just uh, curious. Yeah. Why the sweatshirts? Pump cover. No, actually, you yeah. know what? Pump cover. <laughs> <laughs> I like this pump cover. <laughs> Because once I get pumped up, then I'll take, then I'll take, okay, I'll, I'll, okay. Be, I'll be totally honest. I'm a little self-conscious going to a new gym and immediately having a pink up. Okay. You know. Okay. And so it's a little cold out, but norm if I was going to my own gym, I'd probably walk in with a tank up. But I feel like I'm the new guy. Okay. I'm a little more self you know, for what it's worth. No, no I, I like it. I, I personally like that they showed up today and they're, they're covered. Because uh, I always, um, oddly enough, Oddly enough, I, I just got done for a fitting for a movie. Uh huh. And they pull up the clothes and go, Is this what you would wear? Would you? And I go, You tell me what the character would wear because I'm going to be the complete opposite. Yeah. She goes, what, what, what do you mean? The bodybuilders wear tank tops and tight shorts. And I go, yeah. I wear sweat clothes, I cover yeah. it and everything. Yeah. And so it's, it's just cool to see. Yeah. You've gotten so much attention in your life. Like maybe there was a time when I was 16 where I'm like, I need everybody, but it's like, I don't think about getting attention from my, just walking around, I feel more self-conscious of it because so many people approach you anyway and do this and that, which is fine. But I'm like, I, you know, I'm like, that's, if I go from the gym to the, you know, get something to eat that's happening, I do feel self-conscious about it. You know, I'd rather kind of look slightly more normal. Yeah, yeah. I always did it like stringer tank tops, but since we've been training, I've switched more into I don't need to wear a tank. Don't I don't need to. Either. I know that you pop I do. That I, do. I do pop every freaking but session. I usually, you pop. But I, I used to walk in with immediately. And now I'm like, all right. Yeah. I can finish a workout and be covered. I'm like, oh, that's good. But I still usually pop it last couple of sets. Just to, you know, come on. I was feeling like, yeah, yeah, I got to. I got to. And it's zoo, because I'm normally, that's on the way to work. So I'm normally going in the morning. It's very normalized. I haven't been in a gym before that where, you know, you might walk in at 3 p.m. and all the dudes have their shirts off. Which is because again, it's a content gym. Yeah, I get it's fine. it. I get it. But I'm, I still realize I'm like, I feel like I'm, I'm like, oh, I can, you know. Someone's like, hey, Mark, take, you know, take a pic, and I'm like, oh, so you're you know. justified to actually, you're actually justified to pop the top 24/7 because that's <laughs> kind of, in, in a sense, right? That's, yeah. But you don't, which again, I like. I'm not saying do yeah. it or don't do it. I'm just saying for me, I personally yeah. like the guys that cover up and they get their work in. Yeah. And then if they're gonna pop it, they pop it at the end. That's what we always did in the 80s and 90s. Yeah. I don't care if it was Flex Wheeler, Dorian yeah. Yates, we all kept covered. And then at the end of the workout, we take a look at each other kind of and see how they're looking yeah. for the show. Because that's another thing too, is I like I've heard bodybuilding like, you know, I've watched Nick Trigilli's channel, he's like one time he phrased it like, Oh shut the fuck up, you're just going to the gym to get a pump, to get a pump. And I'm like, but uh, that's not why I get go to the gym. Like I have something more specific in mind usually. The pump is great, but that's not really my objective. And for some people it probably is, but I'm going like, I, I walk in with more purpose as far as like beating PRs or doing uh, doing something and the pump is a nice thing, but you can get distracted by yourself obviously in the gym. If you're just walking like, ooh, what's well, two minutes you just wasted, yeah. <laughs> you know, between a set that, you know, you should have done much quickly. Yeah. Insightful, insightful for both. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I've always enjoyed lifting with my heavy, heavy sets with something covered up because it's almost something cool. Of like, yeah. we'll bench 405 for reps, and it's like, what's under the hoodie? What's under there? And I think that's a cool thing yeah. covered up and just having that heavy ass weight. Like, shit, what's under the Like, where's the physique? Yeah, I like it, boys. Later than I used to. Okay. It used to be, I would do one set of bench. I'm like, all right, now. I like that you keep covers for the heavy. Yeah. And I agree. Heavy? Heavy is the work. Because I agree with him. If you want to get the pump and you want to show it, cool. But on the heavy stuff, which I think is majority of the workout, keep covered up, get the work done, don't get distracted, 
after you're done with that, if you want to get a pump and go for that cool deal and enjoy it. Oh. That's where we pop it. After the heavy sets, we pump it. Again, I'm just <laughs> for my team, for the guys I train with. It's like, how many times you guys seen Robbie pop it? Robbie has a better physique than all of us. So no. it's like, come on. Yeah. I don't know about that. And I don't need the attention. It's like people are already looking at you, you're big, whatever. It's like, I don't I don't feel like I need the attention. You know, even though I'm constantly accused of needing attention. I'm like, ah, you know. If you got hair like that, you're going to be <laughs> Yeah. And for you guys, we'll talk about the hair products and everything later today exactly. on what to do. <laughs> that's a treatment. That's a workout in itself. That's a pretty hair. Good range. Look at those lats stretch. Look at that shoulder pulling forward. But it's still connected with the lats. Right. There. Just, just to get it going, you're giving that heave ho mm -hmm. in. And just pull. Just, it's just a flex. It's just a flex from the bottom. Because yeah. when we go heavy, because that ain't heavy. Because when we go heavy, then I'm okay with you using it. Yeah. But if you use it on the warm ups and stuff, you're cutting it short. Yeah. Sheesh. Still just a flex from the lat. That's all the way, Mike. Notices. So there's a couple guys, and Kelly can kind of tell you this too, is uh, Lou Ferrigno is one of those guys. You would never see a huge rotation of shoulders going back on the contraction. And it just, it depends on the person, man. If you've got great mind-to-muscle connection, it's probably not an over movement that you need to do to connect to that muscle. And I'm noticing that with you, with your back, uh -huh. You can get that great contraction yeah. without extreme rotation of the shoulder. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And this is the whole day you've been doing that. It's cool to see somebody that connects so well without having to do the typical, oh, when they visually watch it. Yeah. If they don't watch the contraction and they just go, oh, like your shoulders isn't going back. That's not correct. <laughs> it's like, I guarantee your back is ridiculous. You pop that top, you pop the top. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, your con your rotation isn't there, and it doesn't need to be technically if you can yeah. connect. No, it's an interesting thing. Because I hadn't thought about that. Didn't? Oh, I was I was unaware. You know, although I do have some shoulder issues that probably I work around, like I have a arthritic shoulder, so maybe overdoing it in certain you know maybe that hurts me. So I would, just, but. I do think about where I'm initiating. You know, like I do get the mind muscle connection at the start of the rep and just make sure I'm stretched and that I'm initiating, you know, from the right areas that I that I want to hit. So it's great. It's great. It just it just I like the fact that it just shows you what they say isn't right. Yeah. It, it's a yes. Yeah. To the masses, they probably have to do it that yeah. way. But somebody that's done this for a bit and understands their body, yeah. you're doing great. Yeah. And as I like. When I have things that start to hurt, you know, the first step is like, all right, let me take 30% of the weight off and then start back. Just pausing, feeling it, you know, we're getting getting a better workout with less weight and then building up the weight. See the meat. So right now it's already contracted and flexed, and he's so lean and dense, it's even harder at this point. Nice. Pull. Grip. Again. Four more. Let's go. Two. Again. Three. Again. Four. Three. Go again. Hit it. Come on. Come on. See what happened right here? I just... So this is what's 
where it's actually this. Believe it or not, the pole isn't just this coming up and over. It's this pulling it down, crunching you in. So it's so different. I was just thinking about punching my top end. Okay, it's, it's basically, so hit this, and, so your hip is like this, and it's that lower lat. You want to pop the top? So, this work, this, yeah, pop it, pop it, pop it. Yeah. This is from Kelly, pop it. Lou Ferrigno. Again, that's what I was talking about earlier, is he had a great rotation, or very little rotation with the shoulders, but could still contract the back. And so, look at these bodies, man, right? Come on now. Get hit the here. shit, hit the shot. Come on. Bring it down. Yeah, grip is on there. You might want to go up some weight. So this would be great to see if it'll really lo rotate. Oh, no. Yes, everything is going to be flexing. So your main focus yeah, is that yeah. lower lat connection. Yeah. Beautiful. I do it for a living. So. Yeah, yeah, I can tell you're a good person. No, shoot for me. You like those. <laughs> Great. I had a cop tell me once. An hour. He said that. What I can't help you guys with is vascularity through your back. That's just. <laughs> that's time. That is time. Nice. Nice. All connected. Slow down. Slow down. Top. Top. Try to get there quicker. Get it. Nice. You know you're popping that off. Huh? Let's go! Look at that. Oh, yeah. Like West Hollywood. Woo! <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. So it's that rotation over the floor. I see it now. Yeah. Now you see it, now right? I see it. Not what you did. As we pull. Rotate that top over and you're trying to push that lower lat out this way. The lat extends from the armpit to about here on most guys, me about here, but most guys is stretched all the way down. And in order to contract it all the way from the bottom, we have to stretch all the way up and then get through this rhomboid in the terrace major terrace minor pull straight down, elbows down into that lat. And that's the way you do it. They really thought they weren't gonna learn something today. <laughs> all right, Doug. All right, so we got Pump X coming out. I cannot wait for this. You guys will be able to get that at Walmart. I hope you guys learned something today. Um, again, it's it's minor changes. Again, we're going to stay basics. Uh, there's there's no getting away from the basics, and then it's just minute changes from there. I'm glad that these guys were all here, so you could actually see some muscularity in these guys showing you how it should be done. Also, I think what's great is that. We showed you somebody that can connect with muscle without the extreme rotation that everybody says you have to have to do it right. Thanks again. Subscribe, like the channel, and make sure to uh, subscribe for my new OnlyFans account starring Griff. 